Okay, I apologize for the video being so choppy, but uh, I'm putting some thought into this as I'm going here and filming at the same time. I should have started filming last night. Well, no, I should have. Anyway, um, I've taken one chopstick. I've broken it in half. I'm going to use one half to secure the 17 gauge solid wire to the 300 ohm twin lead on the radiating element side uh, to keep to prevent the flex from the uh, the the base of the solder joint there on the 300 ohm side. Um, I'm going to use the uh, the second half of the chopstick to replace this piece of a closed pin I broke in half to secure the uh, 300 ohm twin lead uh, in place uh, to keep the flex between the joint between sorry the 300 ohm twin lead and the RG58 uh, 50 ohm coax. Um, it's going to make it a little thinner, uh, easier to stuff up inside uh, the uh, the PVC pipe and the fishing pole and the whole thing. So anyway, um, using the pieces of chopstick there and the electrical tape, we'll get that job done. And uh, moving on to the next. Okay, and do take note, um, during your construction of this antenna, if you decide to make one of these, that when you are securing whatever length of wire, whatever wire you're using for the radiating element above that matching stub to the twin lead, that you want to leave the the shorter length of your twin lead exposed when securing the two together. And the reason for this is during the tuning, um, you'll end up cutting uh, one quarter inch off the top of the radiating element for every one thirty second of an inch uh, from down here, um, and this is this is something that needs to be done. Otherwise, you're never going to find the the uh, the tune that you're looking for for uh, resonance on whatever frequency you're going to be using for this this two meter J pole. Anyway, um, so here we are. I have secured the uh, seventeen gauge solid wire to the 300 ohm twin lead using that piece of chopstick and uh, that's a good strong fit there won't be any flex there and I don't have to worry about that joint breaking um, in here anyway so moving on okay and now I have just completed wrapping the um, the base of the fishing pole in electrical tape to widen the width so it fits securely inside the PVC pipe here. Um, uh, I don't know uh, if it's going to fit yet. I just started wrapping it and uh, took a wild guess, but we might have to add some. We might have to uh, remove some. I don't know yet, but anyway. So, uh, just one of the steps in the process here and uh, and moving along. So, uh, next uh, you will see the somewhat completed uh, assembly of the antenna, untuned of course, uh, that's going to be the, the lengthy process, that's the uh, the most difficult part in building this, everything else is rather simple, simple, sorry. So anyway, uh, that's next. Okay, now we have our 90% assembled antenna. I did end up having to remove some of the, uh, the electrical tape from the base of the antenna to uh, stuff it down inside there and uh, left just enough exposed that we can uh, slide down a cap with a hole drilled out to this width uh, to give it a more secure fit. It's pretty secure as it is, but uh, we just want to make sure uh, it's a good solid uh, good solid piece here. So anyway, uh, running low on battery power here, um, and I'm wasting a lot of time because I'm a horrible teacher. So I uh, apologize for that, and I'm sure I've missed some things here. So if if you have any questions, uh, please uh, do ask in the comments or even uh, send me a private message or uh, whatever you need there. So anyway, the next uh, the next uh, the next thing we're going to do here is zip tie this to the the rook sack in uh, and uh, we'll see if we can get this thing tuned up here before long. Okay, here is the uh, the man pack antenna that I've uh, done here. 
it's a uh, 100% complete I uh, I tuned it a little earlier and uh, it works pretty good uh, we were unable to get the SWR below uh, below 1.9 I think it was and I think that's because it's just so close to my body anyway uh, but uh, everything else looks good and uh, we'll show uh, the testing of it in the next video so anyway um, I hope you enjoyed and again if you have any questions or uh, if I've forgotten anything just uh, drop me a note in the uh, in the comments area there and I'll get back to you as soon as I can thanks about the plans that you use.